What's up guys, this is Daniel with Midnight Movie Trash and I'm here with... Ali Sheehorn and Allison Victoria Wolf. Talk to me a little bit about y'all's film project y'all got here at the Film Fest. Um, it was my very first short film and I wrote, directed and also starred in it, which was insane and pretty difficult for your first film, but um, it was just something for fun and I learned a lot and for everyone's first project it's kind of something that you just, it's a practice, it's just like you want to learn and, and build the steps to be a better director or a filmmaker and you learn everything. and. The best way is to fail. So that's the best <laughs> it's way not to a failure. Not by the way, just but letting you know. That's how you learn is by being able to fail and be open to failure. And yeah. so it was just a lot of fun, and I hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah, if you if you can't learn from from your failures, you never grow. Yeah. You know, and that's the one big thing that I'm learning myself is like you have to accept the setbacks and the failures and stuff like that. Now let me ask you, setbacks, were there any major during filming or production? Oh, every film, there's always something wrong. Like we would do three takes and I'd be doing this monologue and then there'd be an apple box in the background and you're like, oh my God, how come nobody caught that? Or there'd be a singer and you're like, oh man, and then get okay, start all over again. But nothing too crazy. Nothing we, did, too crazy. we did forget the Chinese food. Not, not giving away any spoilers, but there you go, there that's you go. an easy order. <laughs> also, uh, I believe you're an uh, FX artist also? I am. I do special effects makeup. Yeah. What got you into that? Um, I stumbled upon a film set for the first time and I was a, an art student and I hated being by myself. <laughs> and then now I get to do makeup on actors and my canvas talks back now. So I'm never really alone doing my art. Yeah. What would you tell a young, inspiring uh, female filmmaker uh, that wants to get into the industry? What advice would you give them? Just never take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just keep going. Whenever somebody tells you no or you can't do it, that's that no is the strongest motivator for me. And I'm just like, oh, watch me. Yeah. Watch me do this and just keep going. I will say what I will say. As, um, as someone, a mom, I have four children. It would, it's, what I would tell my daughter is never give up and that you can do this and believe in yourself. Also, be your own advocate. I mean, Allie's like yeah. downplaying her skills, by the way, but she is a fantastic special effects artist. And it's like when I first saw her, it was like I knew that she'd be an amazing director as well. And it's like what Allie, what Allie brings to the table is it's just a strong female. And I think that's really important. <laughs> How, how have you seen the film industry treat women? For the most part, it's been a struggle. You definitely have to prove yourself a little bit more and push the boundaries a little bit and think outside the box. Try and be different as much as you can, but also be yourself and don't change who you are. Because and, I think, and that's hard. I mean, it's hard. I mean, Hollywood wants to change exactly who you are. And I think being a woman and being organized and strong and all of these aspects of, of femaleness is, is definitely a superpower and something that yeah. we need more of in the world. We need more, for sure. That brings me to my next question. Yeah. Tell me the importance of like the horrific film, women's film festival, the importance of these kind of film festivals for, for female filmmakers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's, it gets people with a foot in the door, you know, and it pushes people to be more powerful in the horror community because a lot of it's run by men, you know, and yeah. girls can be horrific too, and yeah. we can play with blood as well, and we know a lot about blood, you know, so. I mean, we do. We, we do. deal with it once a month, so, well, you know. And, and what's amazing about this being the first year is, like, this festival is only going to grow. It's going to so keep growing. Be, yeah, so being in, in the ground floor, really, it's, it's honestly an honor, and it's something that we're going to treasure from, you know, this is a, an amazing festival. For me, our debut. Yeah, yeah, and this is her de directorial debut, and it's the first festival, it's, it's it, so I'm very excited to see it. Let me ask you, any other film projects you got planned? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have a, we, we both have a lot in the, in the tunnel. Um, 
I have a short film that's going to be a part of an anthology series of horror shorts. Um, she's got plenty in the works. Yeah, too. I have If It Bleeds that comes out this year. It's a horror. It has um, Catherine Corcoran, Doug Jones. It's an amazing. Uh, Dee Wallace is in it. Yeah, yeah. and I also was a producer on The Plastic Men. It's coming out as William Fickner. Uh, oh my gosh, is it? But James Preston, it's a, it's a fan, amazing. So I'm also um, working on some sci-fi movies right now. So stay tuned. Cool. One final question: Where can they find you on social media? Oh, um, just my name, Ali Shehorn Art. That's where that's my Instagram. You can see a lot of my. I'm just warning; it's very bloody. So. And Allison Victoria Wolf. I'm on Instagram at Allison underscore V I C for Victoria. Awesome. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is Daniel with Midnight Movie Trash. See ya.